Hello, welcome back to another video. My name's Alex and today I have my August TBR for Cramathon and the arcs that I need to get to this month. I have been doing secret TBRs, so I do have another secret TBR and it'll be up for July and then I have an August one that I'll be doing. If you want to see any of those, hit subscribe if you haven't. I'm very excited to post them. Today's video was supposed to be a crazy video or like a out of the box kind of video, but I am still tired from the reading rush. And so we're just gonna chill, talk books, and that's that. So I will possibly have a, another video this week, so hit subscribe for that. Also, I kind of stopped promoting my Patreon, but if you do want to support me in any other way and get exclusive content and my videos before they are posted on YouTube, definitely go down below to my description and hit Patreon. It's only a dollar for you to get all the stuff, so I highly recommend for you to do that. It will help me a lot, it'll help me with my book club, and just help me make better videos because I am not monetized and I would really like to be, but that's unfortunate, so go and support me on Patreon if you would like to. It would mean the world and also, I will send you a personalized letter if you become a Patreon because I will be so grateful if you do. So enough with the promotion, let's get into my August TBR. For the beginning of August, I will be participating in Cramathon, which happens from the 2nd to the 4th of August. It's a weekend, I'm so excited. And this is just to get in the books that you've been wanting to read and I am just really excited to participate in this. My favorite booktubers host this. We have Ellie from The Hard Black Hoarder, Jay from The Awkward Bookworm, and Dylan is reviewing, and I'm sorry if I forgot one other person. I feel like I might have, and if I did, I will have them on the screen. But I love this readathon. It is chill. They are doing vlog challenges, but I am exhausted from the reading rush, and I just need to chill. And so I'm just gonna have a laid back readathon, and you'll see in my August wrap up, or if you follow me on Goodreads or anywhere, I will be updating. Usually Instagram I do as well. So now I'm gonna get into the books that I will be reading for each challenge. There are four challenges and the goal is to read three books. The first challenge is to read a book less than 200 pages and I have Knit 1, Girl 2. I've had this on my Kindle. I've been wanting to read it. It's less than 200 pages. I think it's even less than 100 pages and I am here for that. It's queer. Let's get it. The next challenge is to read a 2019 release and I have a book that I've been meaning to get to and I just haven't gotten a chance to and since August is my month to catch up on all my arcs. I have The Shortest Distance Between Love and Hate by Sandy Hall. She's one of my favorite authors and I am so grateful to have gotten a copy of this from Swoon Reads so thank you so much to them. This was a surprise. It was unsolicited but I am so hyped for this. It came out in July and I haven't gotten to it and I feel ashamed but it's August, we're gonna get to it. I'm so excited. I don't even know what this is about, but it's Sandy Hall. I like all of her books. It's cool. And the next challenge is to give an author a second chance, and I am going to be reading How to Be Remy Cameron by Julian Winters. In July, I read Running with Lions by Julian Winters, and that was his debut novel. I gave it a 3.75 star, and so I enjoyed it, but I feel like there were some problems. There's definitely room for improvement, so I am giving him a second chance and reading his book that I got from NetGalley. This is his second book, his sophomore novel. I am so excited to read this. I've heard Heard nothing but good things about it and I'm hoping that I enjoy it. The publication date will be on the screen because I'm not entirely sure when it is. It might be August or September but don't quote me on that. And the last challenge is to read three books and because I feel like the first book since it's really short it's like a novella it's not like a book like it's not like a full-length novel so I have another arc and this is Gut Check by Eric Kester. It comes out in August so I really need to get to this book. It's about football. I I'm excited for a bro book because if you know me, I love a bro book. I love me a good bro book, so I'm hoping that this comes through. So that is my TBR for Cramathon. I will have my Reader Rama TBR up and I already have the books for it, but it will be up before Reader Rama. And so subscribe for that. Um, but I'm just gonna talk about the other arcs that I need to get to for arc August. So first I have The Liars of Mariposa Island by Jennifer Matu. I have not read it Moxie yet. I should probably read it, but this looks so good. I love the cover. I need a good summer read, so this is what I'm going to try to pick up. This I was possibly sent by Macmillan, I can't remember, but this comes out September 2019. 
Next, I have All American Muslim Girl by Nadine Jolie Courtney. This book I'm not sure if I'm going to get to, so if I don't, check my Twitter and I'm going to be doing a Books for Trade or just giving this away to an Own Voices reviewer. And last, this is a little iffy because I need to read the first book, but Macmillan also sent me A Dream So Dark by L.L. McKinney, and I've heard that this is a retelling of something. It's a fantasy. I forget what the retelling actually is. I think it's like an Alice in Wonderland retelling, but I have heard nothing but good things, and so I need to get to this arc as well. I think I have some on NetGalley that I need to get to too, but that is it for my August TBR. If you are reading any of these books, let me know in the comments. Check my description for all the Goodreads links, and don't forget to hit subscribe and go over to my Patreon to become a paperback pal on there and on here. My name's Alex. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.